What's up guys, thanks for tuning in. Well, we finally did it. We bit the bullet on a project that we've been kicking around for quite a while. We've just never been parked anywhere long enough to complete it. I'll show you what that project was and how we accomplished it. So the project I'm talking about is painting the walls of our RV. Uh, we finally decided to do it. We talked about it and talked about it. Um, it always seemed like a pretty daunting task. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be, uh, but it wasn't the easiest thing in the world either. Um, I think the thing that took the longest was the prep work, just kind of getting everything taped off and uh, deciding how we were going to paint it. So we did a ton of research. There are a hundred different ways people recommend to paint the walls in your RV. Um, but what it boils down to is you can get a primer and you can prime the walls first and then paint over the top of it. Uh, we saw a lot of people recommend that that's, that's the best way to do it. Uh, and then we also saw a tremendous amount of people that said they just used a paint and primer combination and had no issues. So we decided to go that route uh, just for the fact that it's obviously easier to just paint the walls uh, and add maybe a second coat versus trying to put the primer on, waiting for that to dry, then go over it with the paint. Uh, so what we used to paint our walls was the Sherwin-Williams Infinity uh, paint and primer. It was pretty expensive. Uh, we went with the higher end stuff because I figured we'd have better luck with it. Uh, it went on fantastic. I did have to do, use two coats. So this project wasn't just a paint the walls project. Uh, this project was a uh, get a new love seat project. Uh, we wanted to do something different with our uh, dog's kennel that we had in here. Um, we just decided to kind of do a whole little uh, remodel of our whole, uh, whole living space here. And uh, that started with replacing our backsplash. Um, that's the very first thing that we did. That was actually a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. We should have done that a long time ago. The backsplash was very inexpensive. We ordered on Amazon. Uh, there's a million different patterns and different colors you can choose from. What we decided to go with was this white pattern. Um, it went on, like I said, it went on very, very easy. Uh, we really like it. It brightens up this whole area over here uh, behind the sink. It's a lot easier to keep clean than that brown paneling that was up there before. Uh, we just went right over the top of that paneling, wiped down everything with TSP, and just stuck the tiles right to it. Um, I did have to cut out a little notch back there uh, in the back to go around the uh, outlet where we have our ice maker and everything plugged in. But overall, very, very easy to install. Uh, just take your time. You know take your measurements cut it it was super easy to cut it stuck extremely well i mean i don't know if i could peel it off if i wanted to it's it's stuck on there really really good that was our first step the first thing that we did uh from there we wanted to replace our triple recliner that uh our triple recliner couch that we had in the slide uh, as time's gone on over three years it started to peel uh, and once it started to peel here recently in the last really month, month and a half, uh, once it started peeling, it got out of control. It was getting really bad. It was flaking off. It was super ugly. And uh, we wanted to ditch that thing. What we replaced it with was a love seat that we found on Amazon. Uh, that is a, it's a cloth material love seat. Um, we don't really all three sit on the couch that often anymore. Uh, if all three of us are going to sit out here, we have a very, very comfortable office chair uh, that we have here. So somebody can sit in the office chair. So it just worked out better for us to go with the love seat. And then what we did with the extra space that we saved by just going with a smaller love seat is we added our dog's uh, new kennel. That kennel is has a hardwood top on it. It looks more like a piece of furniture than a dog kennel. Um, it acts kind of as an end table over there. 
so we can put some things up there um, I ran uh, ran a power strip to it so there's a power strip mounted up on the back of it so that we can plug things in and it's worked out fantastic so while we were waiting on our couch to arrive uh, we went ahead and pulled the old couch out painted the slide so we want to get all that painted first while we were waiting for our love seat to come in uh, that way that was all done we also removed those terrible terrible fabric pull down shades uh, that came in the rv uh, if you have an rv you know exactly the shades i'm talking about um, they're not very attractive they don't look very good what we replaced those with was some curtains we found these curtains on amazon uh, we got the curtain rod uh, we had the curtains we bought the tie backs for them those curtains are uh, I don't think they were listed as room darkening, but having curtains up there really, really darkens up the living room. Uh, when you pull them shut, it blocks out all the light. So we like those much better than those fabric pull down shades, pleated shades. Um, we were never a big fan of those. And uh, again, putting the curtains in is something we should have done a long time ago. So once we got the curtains in, we got the love seat in, it was time to finish painting uh, the rest of our interior so we wiped down the walls really really good with uh, TSP that stuff is fantastic we used it in our bathroom before we put up our wallpaper in the bathroom when we did that project uh, we used it to clean the bottom of our shower pan when we repainted the shower pan uh, so it's just a fantastic product to use before you paint or put up wallpaper it really cleans the walls gets everything off of them and you're going to have any issues with your paint uh, adhering and sticking to the wall as long as you wipe it down really good with tsp so wiped all the walls down um, and got to paint i mean uh, i used a three inch foam roller for some of it uh, for areas up like up around here, uh, up around these little small, little skinny areas up around the windows. Uh, that was probably the biggest pain was going around those three windows. Uh, not a lot of room to work there between, uh, between the top of the window and the cabinet or between the bottom of the window and the top of the uh, countertop there. It's just a very small area. So I kind of used a combination of a three inch foam roller and a brush and uh, got around the windows Getting everything taped off uh, was definitely the most time consuming part of this whole project. Um, it took me over an hour just to tape everything off. Uh, the actual painting didn't take very long at all. Um, after I got done using the three inch foam roller on the uh, big sections of the walls, you know, up here, um, I would just use a standard, I just used a standard uh, paint roller. Went along the edge with a, uh, with a brush and just come in with a standard roller and just rolled it on. I mean, uh, the Sherwin-Williams Infinity, it covered fantastic, but it did take two coats. Um, the first coat I put on, I didn't put it on real, real heavy. I allowed two hours for it to dry before I put the second coat on, which is what the instructions recommend uh, to do. Just this area of our uh, Grand Design 28BH, it took a gallon plus one quart. So uh, I actually have a little bit of that quart left uh, that I'm going to hang on to in case things get bumped into the wall or if I need to do any touch up, I'll be able to do that. But I mean, you can see, you know, the difference in here. If you go back and look at any of our videos that we recorded uh, inside the RV, it looks very dark. Um, those tan, tan walls are just, um, just don't really provide any kind of brightness or light to the interior but now i mean this uh i mean you can see behind me i mean it's it's bright in here it feels like we have a lot more room uh, than what we had before so we are extremely happy with this project we're really really glad that we did it the next project is going to be taking care of these cabinets so uh, the cabinets are not very attractive now that the walls are nice and bright white uh, we're going to repaint these cabinets. We're not gonna paint them white. That would be too much white. We don't want that much white in here. Uh, we kinda like the contrast of the darker cabinets against the white wall. 
so we have a little bit darker color that we're going to paint the cabinets we definitely want to get the rest of this place spruced up um, you know you paint the walls and realize that man this is looking a lot better and it kind of makes you want to continue so we're going to keep on going we'll have a video uh, about painting the cabinets the process that we're going to use for that it's going to be a little different than what we uh, did painting the walls it's going to be a little more prep work involved for the cabinets to make sure that paint sticks and goes on the way it's supposed to if you're thinking about painting the walls in your rv don't be afraid to do it uh, i would highly recommend using the sherwin williams infinity uh, wipe down your walls really good with tsp and you should have no issues um you know two coats and we were good to go you know this isn't um it's not a super technical project don't overthink it don't over research it um, you're going to find like i said there's a there's a hundred different ways out there that people recommend that you have to paint your walls um and you know we chose to just wipe the walls down with tsp go with sherwin williams infinity uh paint and primer combo and it's been fantastic uh i think the price on that paint was about 60 dollars a gallon so it is on the more expensive side but again through our research uh it seemed like that was the that was the paint that everybody was using uh, that had the most success and uh, had the best reviews for painting over the over the top of your RV walls. So that's how we made that decision. Uh, and 60 bucks to do the whole uh, living area of the RV, that's not bad. So we'll leave links uh, in the description of the video to uh, the curtains that we bought, uh, where we found them on Amazon, the love seat. In case you're interested in taking a look at any of that stuff, uh, those will be in the description. And for now, um, that's going to do it. We appreciate you guys watching, and we'll catch you guys down the road.